Merry Chrysler, everybody. Welcome back to Shitty Cooking. It has been way too long. My name is still Jericho. I'm still bad at cooking. And today we're getting in the holiday spirit. We're going to be making the two things that everybody associates with Christmas. We're going to be making eggnog from scratch. Of course, it's going to be alcoholic. And we're going to be making um, ribs. Let's take a look at our high quality ingredients. All right, we've got ourselves whole milk. This is like some fucking better than Kroger brand, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Speaking of Kroger brand, we got whipping cream. I don't know why they call it whipping cream. Slavery was abolished a while ago. We got double A eggs. No triple A battery eggs. We got the beefy ones, okay? These power flashlights. We have ourselves double rye straight whiskey. Wait, what the fuck? I thought this was bourbon. It wouldn't be shitty cooking if I had bought the right ingredients. The show must go on. Got garlic and onion powder, chili powder, nutmeg and pepper. Uh, most of these are for the rib rack. Uh, like we're making custom rub, but the nutmeg, I'm not buying like actual nutmeg. You know what I mean? Like the, we're getting the store bought kind. You're probably like, hey man, where's the ribs at? They're in the fucking fridge, you degenerate. Eat a dick right here, all right? Yeah, you might not like it, but this is what a bachelor's fridge looks like. And then we're gonna saw, oh. And this is what we're putting on the top. These are the sauces we're gonna be topping our rub with. Uh, Famous Dave's barbecue sauce, Devil Spit. Not actually that spicy, but it is really good, got good flavor. And then this piece of shit. This is uh, habanero pepper sauce. This is the most uncomfortably delicious sauce I have. So we're gonna do half and half. That moment when you realize you didn't actually, you know, fucking show half the ingredients. Look, we got brown sugar. Let's make the uh, let's make the, the the rub, okay? Look, I actually need to go to the store because I didn't get half the shit I needed. But we need two tablespoons of brown sugar, which uh, ooh, how satisfying is that little scoop of cream, scoop scoop of sugar? Look at that. Oh, that is just so satisfying to me. We need a tablespoon of pepper. That's a fuck ton of pepper, though. I'm just, I wish there was an easier way. Got more grinding going on than a middle school dance. All right, once you ground up more pepper than there are grinds in Tony Hawk Pro Skater, I guess we gotta add, what, what are we up next against? Ow, oh, fuck. Look, how useless is this? I found half a teaspoon. Oh yeah. All right, I need a teaspoon of this shit. So let's do one scoop, two scoops. Can you not rev your car outside my window when I'm trying to record, thank you? One, two, so another teaspoon of garlic powder, hell yeah. Another, another teaspoon of coming, which smells like baby shit, but actually tastes really great. So you put respect on coming. Finally, a tablespoon of chili powder. That was probably a tablespoon, but you know what? I like my shit a little spicy. Let's throw a little bit more in there. Look at that. Look at that. Smells good. It looks good. It's a little clumpy, but it's going to do the job. We're going to set this aside for later. I can't believe I forgot to get bourbon. I'm going to the store to get bourbon. You stay here. I'll be right back. I bought store-bought eggnog to compare it to, and then we have bullet bourbon, which is Really actually great. I don't even like bourbon, but this is good. Okay, I need four egg yolks, a uh, third cup of sugar, plus one tablespoon. What the fuck kind of measurement is that? I'm gonna be making my eggnog in a pot, cause what else am I supposed to make it in? In a bowl of a stand mixer, beat the egg yolks until they lighten in color. Add a third cup sugar and continue to beat it until it's completely dissolved. Add the milk, cream, bourbon, nutmeg, and stir. Place egg whites in a bowl, in the bowl and beat. That's it? Okay, I'm pretty sure I just like, I crack them and then like, I'm gonna put the egg whites in here, I guess, I don't know. Oh shit. Yeah, just drain it out. Just drain it out. I see like professional chef, oh, there you go. I see professional chefs, they go like this. Oh, wow, that works really well, actually. Oh shit. How are you, this, I hate it, why? Why? How do I make it focus on the egg? Camera, my hands are all eggy and shit. You better be in focus. Ew, what the fuck? Stop. Uh, how, my egg broke. And not in a good way. <laughs> really is concerning, like, how much liquid there is in an egg. Like, I really didn't, oh, I really didn't know that, man. Uh, okay, add a third cup of sugar and, and, and beat it. Oh, wait. Eggs are kind of disgusting when you think about it. Just an embryo beater. Hey guys, are we sure about a third cup of sugar? Like, look how much sugar that, that's way a lot more than I thought. Gradually add the third cup of sugar and continue to beat until it's completely dissolved. All right, man, whatever you say, recipe. How much sugar is in here? 
That's the whole third cup right there. That's a third cup of sugar added to four egg yolks. It is so viscous. Add milk, cream, bourbon, and nutmeg and stir to combine. That's it? It's literally just an addition game? Whole milk is just fucking weird. Oh God, I spilled. Oh no. I'm gonna be honest guys, I can't remember the last time I've had straight milk. Like I just, Tastes like milk. I'm just gonna add it together and then I'll mix it up later. Eh, I kind of want to see what each piece looks like. All right, now we've got this. Oh, there's that yellowy egg. That's why, ye I didn't know that's why eggnog was like yellowy because of the yolk. I don't really know what I expected. I feel like I should make it a thing where I just try all my ingredients. This is heavy cream. Three ounces of bourbon is not a lot of bourbon. That's like two shots of alcohol. So I, I feel like it's one of those things where it's like three ounces of bourbon, wink, but we'll, we'll follow the recipe. One, two, three. Wonderful. And look at that. All right, so it definitely smells like eggnog, but can I just be honest? I thought eggnog it was like a little bit more viscous. This is like very liquidy. Now what do I do? Place the egg whites in a bowl of a stand mixer and beat to soft peaks. Hey guys, are we sure this is gonna like do anything? I've been doing this for a long time. My hand hurts. Uh, with the uh, one tablespoon of sugar, beat until soft. All right, here we go. I guess we just add it in here and then Hope it doesn't turn out like ass. It looked like greenish. I'm not, does that, does that kind of look like eggnog to you? I don't know. And then it says, uh, uh, chill and serve. That's it. Okay, here we go. Hashtag not sponsored by the way, but we've got mine on the left, which looks frothier and thicker somehow than the store bought, which kind of looks like milky. I don't know, but let's try them out. First things first, let's try the store bought one. I mean, it smells like eggnog. I don't know what you want. I've had eggnog plenty. I just, Um, um, <clears throat> Jesus, that just, I mean, it's kind of, it's pretty good. I just wasn't expecting it to taste that much like whiskey or bourbon. It's only 15% alcohol by volume, which means that like, you're essentially drink drinking egg wine, you know, like it's, it's, it's good, but I'm not getting drunk off of this. Oh shit. Now the piece de resistance, mine, you know? This one smells more alcoholic. I wonder if I'm gonna have to add more. Let's try, cheers. Okay. Mine is better. This is definitely like fluffier and it doesn't, it's not as harsh. Mine is way better. I, I wonder if I have to add more, like at what point does it start tasting like the store-bought one? Um, okay, first shitty cooking back in a while, absolute success, and now I get to top it off with some ribs. Let's go check them out. You might notice this entire baguette is the same size as this rack of ribs. I'm gonna put the whole rack of ribs inside the baguette. It'll probably work. I'm gonna just sauce, oh yeah. I wonder if I made enough. Don't skimp on this stuff. I know we're gonna be putting a lot of shit on it afterwards, but the more you put on it now, the better it's gonna taste. Really get it in there. The biggest thing that people are afraid to do is touch their meat. I want you to know that it's okay. You can touch your meat. I'm not gonna lie to you, this smells actually amazing. Like, actually really good. All right, now we gotta wrap this baby up. Make sure it's nice and covered in the tin foil. You don't want None of this pitch showing. I feel like I'm tilted. We're gonna put this thing in the oven for three hours. My AC just came on. This is just bad timing. We're gonna cook it for three hours and then we're gonna take it out, brush it with barbecue sauce and then we're gonna broil it so the barbecue sauce just gets this fucking great crust and it's gonna taste amazing. And then I'm gonna caramelize some onions, put it on the baked bread. It's gonna be insane. Okay, big boy, we got, oh my, oh my, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. All right, you know what? Okay. All right. So here's the problem. 
Okay, uh, I think that the liquid, like, I don't get how much, how there was this much liquid. I think the liquid basically steamed these instead of, you know, getting them a crust. So, like, like they're super juicy, but it's like, uh, you know, I don't know if it's cooked all the way through. According to USDA, ribs are done when they are 145 degrees Fahrenheit internal temp. If you take them up to 190 to 203 degrees Fahrenheit, the collagens and fats melt at this temp and make the meat more tender and juicy. Okay, uh, did I accidentally make really good ribs? Here's the deal. Definitely done. It just doesn't have a crust on it, which sucks. So I'm gonna broil it, which is the next step, and I really hope it gets a crust, because I'm gonna be super sad if I just waited three hours to make ribs and I fucked up my ribs. Okay, straight up. It, it, it actually looks really good now, and I don't know why I doubted myself. And the bones are all like, I mean, I bet you I could pull these out with two hands. Oh my God. All right, I'm just gonna cut it down the middle and I'm gonna have half of a rib sandwich. And this is what, I need some more barbecue. Actually, I don't know. I have made such an incomprehensibly large mess trying to make this sandwich. If these ribs suck, I think I might cry. But if they're good, I think I might cry. Oh God. Oh my fucking God. Oh my God, look. Uh -huh. Look, look at that. Look at that fucker. I'm, I'm so happy. Shitty cooking's back. This is the best thing I ever made. The sandwich was the dumbest thing I've ever made. There's no reason for this. There's no reason for this. Don't make this. Just make ribs. You know? Just make some ribs. Mm. One last thing. I definitely did not have enough rub. I could have seasoned the shit out of these. Still pretty good though.